everybody. In this Python tutorial, we're going to go over how you can take multiple images and resize them all at the same time. So here we have a folder with several images. Okay? And we want to take all these images and resize them. So the first thing we're going to do is import our modules. From Pillow, we're going to import image, and we're going to import glob. The next thing we're going to do is to get familiar with the characteristics of our images. So here, we have put in the path for one of our images, and recall, all those images are on the desktop in a folder named Shapes. In this case, we're just going to look at Shape 1. Now, to access or open that image, we're going to use image.open and then put in the path. Then we're going to use a print to display the format, the image size, and the image mode. And we're also going to pull up and display that image as a preview. Okay? So let's go ahead and run this. You can see here is a preview of the image. And then here you can see the image format which is PNG, the size, which is 300 by 300, and the image mode, which is RGB, red, green, blue. Next, let's go ahead and create some empty lists, which will allow us to append our images. So this will be our image list, and this will be our resized image list. Okay, now let's go ahead and append our images to a list. So for that, we're going to use a for loop, for file name, in, and this is where we're going to use our glob module that we imported here. So we type out glob.glob, .glob, and then we put in the path for our shapes folder. And then here, we use a star, which functions kind of like a wildcard, and that will pull in the file name, whatever that file name may be. And then we use .png for the file type extension. If you want to see those file names, you can use the print to display. Then we use image.open using the file name and assign that to image. And then we use our image list that we created here to append all of those images. So let's go ahead and run this. And you can see the paths here for all of the images that are now appended to this list. Okay, now what we want to do is to append the resized images to another list. So in this case, we're going to use this empty list here. Once again, we're going to use a for loop for image in image list. So it's going to loop over or through all of these files here. Just so we can see those images, we're going to use image.show. Then we want to use image.resize, and inside the resize round brackets, we want to put a tuple with the new size. And you can see here our original size is 300 by 300, and in this case, we want 900 by 900. And then we assign all of that to image. Then we append those resized images to our resized images list. So let's go ahead and run that. And you can see we used image.show, so it pulled up all of those images if you'd like to view them. Now, Finally, we want to save all of those resized images to a new folder. So, in this case, we've gone ahead and created that folder here. It's called New Shapes. So to do that, we just did a right click and clicked on New Folder and gave it a name. If you wanted to do that with code, you could probably also do that using the OS module. In this case, we just kept it real simple and created the folder ourselves. Now, to save those resized images to our new folder, 
Once again, we use a for loop. With this for loop, we use enumerate. So we use for i, comma, new, in enumerate, resized images. Now this i will function as a number, and then the new will be each image. Okay, so then we use new dot save. We use string interpolation with format. And in the first set of curly brackets, we put the path and the new image name prefix. Then for the second set of curly brackets, we're going to add a number to that image name. So for example, it will be shape one, shape two, shape three, and so on. And then for the third set of curly brackets, we put in .png for the image type. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at our folder. You can see currently that there's nothing in the folder. Now, let's go ahead and run this. Let's go back to our desktop. And let's see what's in the folder. Okay, so here we have our resized shapes. Let's go ahead and take a look. And you can see that the shape is much bigger and has been resized to 900 by 900. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.